So, play me good what's tier yet in my tie too. Pushing Mummy Garn all the way to the championship battle 2021. And the present night, he's on a Bakosh and needs a big result here in Kota this weekend as we pick up Pedro Acosta, who doesn't seem to matter what challenge you put in front of him. He just is able to get on with the job, effortlessly working his way around as coach. So, guys, caught up a couple of mechanics is why an eighth goal, but this would be arguably his biggest test of the season so far. Well, he's passed to the flight coolly. Although, as I man, you really don't deserve why you commentate this choice, but hey, I will let him have that one. Yeah, he's uh, exploring the limits, shall we say, so far today. Of course, we did see him running off a little bit this morning. It was a uh, session of two halves this morning. He was down the back of the field for the first half of the session, bolting on some new tyres, and it's immediately up inside the top three is the rear stakes left, stakes right, as he tries to get it stopped from well, the thick end of 300 kilometers an hour down that back straight down to around about 60 k's for the first gear turn 12 and unfortunately he was nowhere near the apex that time but he's on a first he won't be the last to make a mistake through there there are so many big braking stops around this Kota layout this is another of them into turn one while we've obviously Mark Marquez run wide earlier on into 10 11 and into 12 huge huge heavy braking zones well, of course you need that braking stability which is why generally riders favor the harder front tire around here yeah when you see those hard braking zones you know that Kevin Schwantz had some influence in the design of this uh, Coda circuit great to see so many American legends gathered here this weekend Teddy Roberts of course the Ripple 5 and the CC World Champ in the late 70s, famous for his unbelievable battles with Barry Sheen. Wayne Brady is here, of course, trying to unearth the future of American talents as the boss of Motor America. Kevin Schwantz is here, the 1993 5 on the CC World Champion. And just on that night, actually, we send our thoughts, our prayers, and condolences to the family and friends of the Pat Headed, but who sadly passed away recently. The, the first American rider to win a premier class at the Grand Prix. He was in many respects one of the, the trailblaze money for uh, such a, a golden generation of American talent. Mm -hmm. Great to see the likes of Kenny Roberts, Wayne Rainey and Kevin Schwantz here. The three names that are right up there with proper ultimate legends in this great sport. We should also, while we're talking about that, just uh, send our best wishes to a couple of former MotoGP riders who've been in the wars recently. Benilla Petrucci, of course, is in World Superbikes nowadays and a big motocross crash, which has left him rather second-hand. And Andrea did it to Yoso, too, who was suddenly showing no signs of slowing down on a motocross track, and he had a pretty high-speed get-up as well on his motocross machine earlier on this week, which saw him out to be fairly fantastic. But fortunately as well, he is also on the men, so we wish him well. Mar Marquez once again there, nowhere near the racetrack there. This time through turn 19, Marquez running on to this lifetime world count for anything much might be saw this morning yeah? it's like a scruffy start to the session for Dean of Coulter my promise at the start for another former Kaito winner here and now Bastianini on the 23 Ducati Alain Viting machine and now he's already wrapped in this early part practice down to a 204.25A and Pedro Costa is the first ride in the 283s left being joined immediately by the likes of Martin Spiger, Fernandez, Augusto Fernandez, and Jack Miller. Martina now leads at early on with a 203.036. We're already inside the lap times that we saw this morning from Abbott Pinyas to the 203.2. A later Spiger, that's a significant jump from what we saw from him this morning. He was very quiet session for LH on the 41. He didn't do anything better than a 2048 this morning. He's already second point two quicker than that this afternoon. So Marty and the man that's chasing the championship, the man that's chasing here nearly part of this practice session here in Kota under some glorious spring sunshine and almost perfect conditions for Grand Prix Matasaka racing of course tomorrow at 3 p.m. local time the TSO spring will be underway 10 laps then the 4th distance Grand Prix here on Sunday over 20 laps yeah, thanks, Jack. Thanks to a brilliant boss, uh, Massimo Rivoli. At the moment, Alessio Spardi, you have to say, very non-committal uh, about his plans beyond 
I mean, very easy. I sent both of them on my search. Both the cheese with the mango. Just, uh, hey, right, hey, guys, let me see that control. We go and left, uh, and my marks. Uh, I'm sure we like, uh, yes, there's everything under control looking for. Cold quarter, so positive, very positive. That's good to hear. Uh, already there's a lot of talk, not only about the rider market, but in terms of which teams are going to be running which bikes at the moment. Um, for the next year's summit, they are 46 and Brama. Both have their contracts paid with the captain at the end of this current season. What's the, the latest update on the negotiations with both of them? Yeah, we have uh, some table. Yeah, Park, Hockenheim, and Silverstone as well. Sector one, very much reminiscent of Magnus and Beckis, isn't it? And Silverstone. As we pick up Vignanas, this is right at the top end of the circuit. The bottom gear turn 11. Cruz, you're there now to get good drive, get good acceleration grip as you power now down this. Long back straight, 1.2 kilometers in length, which makes it the longest straight on the Grand Prix calendar. Over that little crest, which can stay on set of the bike in the braking zone. It's all nice and clean this by Vinales. Good lap as well, coming in from Maverick. Out some fresh Michelin rubber there, brand name medium front, medium rear at the start of the session. Yeah, because Vinales is one of those who did go for new rubber early on this morning in free practice. Although, of course, if you're familiar with MotoGP, you'll know that that session this morning did not count towards qualifying. Solely this 60-minute practice session will determine who moves through into qualifying two. Michael Pinales is winning just ahead of Pedro Costa on circuit, both on target to improve at the moment. Almost certainly the final 15 to 20 minutes as well. We'll expect the fireworks in this practice session. Pinales now approaches the final corner. Of course, we have seen him challenge at the front here at Cote de Football. Of course, famous way in, being on the crust of a wave in early 2017. He was challenged to Mark Marquez, but crashed out of that, leading back. He's up in the second place in these early stages on 203.1. That's a tenth quicker than he went this morning. It was right here in Cote, and it's just his second Moto 2 start back in 2014, where he dominated that Grand Prix. And having set the fastest lap on his Moto 2 debut in Qatar, it was those two performances which immediately caught the eye the event Suzuki Timos WD Brevi on his way yet he's our man absolutely no question whatsoever and Vinales was taken after this one season in Mata 2 into the factory Suzuki fold for the 2016 season wasn't it even then we go Pekka Van Yaya out of the final corner winds the power on the factory to Cathy up to big place creeping him up towards the low 203s the all 